Okay, greetings math people. So this particular message is for those students going to be entering their first calculus course in the fall. And this could be either, you know, uh, college Cal one or AP calculus in high school. So for those entering, you know, their first about to enter their first year of calculus in the fall, what things should you study that you learned in earlier math courses that will be most important for calculus? Uh, that is the message for today. So if, if you're looking at a message such as this, then you're a student who likes to be very prepared uh, for the upcoming course. And if you pay attention to the things that I talk about, you will be very prepared uh, for your introductory calculus course. Again, whether that's Cal 1 or AP Calculus in high school. So I'm going to be talking about things you learned in previous math courses, uh, not just pre-cal, but also uh, algebra, algebra one, algebra two, geometry, things you learned in previous math courses that'll be most impactful uh, in calculus. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about is slope, uh, slope in general, really, you know, calculus uh, what you what you learn a lot of it can be broken up just between slope and area in a generic sense so slope is pretty important and the aspects of slope that you want to review are point slope form so i want to make sure you're very familiar with point slope form and and i want you to think of it not sure what form it was taught to you but generally the point slope form is taught y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 I want you to think it more of it with moving that y1 uh, to the right of the equal sign. So I want you to think of it as y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. I want you to look at it more in that form than the y minus uh, y1 form. It will just be a little bit more beneficial. It's still the same thing. We're just moving one term over. But, but that particular form with that y1 move over will be a little bit more beneficial. Also, you want to be able to find slope when given two points. Uh, and those can be just two random points. Also a table of points should be able to find the slope. Uh, slope from a graph is gonna be pretty important. So slope is gonna be a, a big deal for us. And uh, how a line looks when the slope is undefined or zero is also some important things to look at. And also, so I, I mentioned, you know, calculus can be, you know, very generically broken up into slope and area. So you want to look at area and some of the, the elementary geometric shapes you studied in geometry. You want to make sure uh, you know the formulas of those shapes and you're able to find area of such shapes. And, what we're, and we're really, we're talking about very elementary shapes. Um, things like the area of a circle or a semicircle or a quarter of a circle, um, area of a trapezoid, triangle, rectangle. That's really about it. Those are the real basic shapes whose area uh, you should be familiar with finding and whose formulas you should be very familiar with. Also volume of some figures is going to be pretty important as well. Uh, volume of a cone, a cylinder, a sphere. So those particular formulas are ones uh, you want to memorize. Uh, they're used a lot in, in, in some application problems. So it's pretty important to remember those particular formula. Again, the volume of a, of a right cylinder, a cone, um, and a sphere. Those particular volume formulas will be pretty important. Also, and I guess I could have mentioned this when I talked about slope, you know, average rate of change, which is kind of basically the same thing as slope and that's something you learn in, in pre-calculus. So average rate of change, is something you want to remember that formula and do problems. So all these things I'm talking about, you want to study the formulas, know exactly what the formulas represent, what these things are actually doing and, you know, do some problems to be able to do problems on these, these type of deals. And also, um, you want to know, study properties of logarithms. So I'm talking the power rule, the quotient rule and the product rule. And so for instance, the product rule where you have the log base B of M times N is equal to the log base B of M plus the log base B of N. And so, you know, similar thing with if the terms were being divided, it would be a difference of two logarithms. And the power rule is like the log base B of M raised to the power of R is equal to R times the log base B of M. So those guys are pretty important, those particular properties of logarithms. I also understand uh, the properties of exponents. So make sure you understand what a rational exponent represents. 
you know, like something raised to the two thirds power or something, any, any rational exponent, make sure you understand what a negative exponent represents. Uh, make sure you understand what happens when you move algebraic terms, you know, polynomial terms from the top and the bottom, how that affects the exponent. So all those things are going to be uh, vitally important in calculus. And the last thing is trig. So uh, we're talking about making sure you know how to evaluate, you know, the basic three angles and you want to, we're going to be looking at angles only in radians in calculus. So norm and radians. So we're talking about pi over four, pi over three, pi over six, or any angle in a quadrant other than quadrant one that has those angles as the reference angle. And also the quadrantal angles, zero pi over two pi, uh, three pi over two. You wanna make sure uh, you know those angles. And also you know, uh, the Pythagorean identities are gonna be uh, pretty important. So make sure you know all three of the Pythagorean identities. So just you know study that stuff. Um, the reciprocal identities, of course, are gonna be important. Uh, the sum difference identities are gonna be important, particularly for understanding how we get the derivatives of sine and cosine. So really that's, that's pretty much it. So those are the main things you wanna study. So if you're, again, a student about to take calculus for the first time uh, this upcoming fall, this summer, the things I mentioned are the things you wanna study of the things that you have learned before. We're not talking about learning anything new, just the things you have learned before that are gonna be very prevalent in calculus. If you study those things and know those things like the back of your hand by day one, you're going to be that much more prepared to be successful in calculus. We'll see you next time.